<laughs> so, now this is the tiger. It's no longer a cloud leopard. And welcome to historical Singapore. It used to be all forested. And what I have in 1819, when the rappers arrived, we started uh, thinking that this was a great place for colonization. And with that, migrants came in from China, uh, Indonesia, and they started opening up the forest. So we have little Rampong here, okay? And they started clearing the forest because they wanted to grow their plantations. And this, they had Gambia plantations, attracted lots of animals from the forest because they are really yummy food to eat and have the wild boar appearing, the deers and the people were out there manning their plantations. These are plantation owners and plantation uh, workers that are managing the plantations. We begin with a mission. Your mission is to feed the tiger and not die. Okay? How this works? We have five questions, 30 seconds each. If majority is correct, we move the tiger. We either move or eat. Okay? We want to feed it because otherwise it dies. Because of encroachment, you clear the forest, less prey, <coughs> and therefore the tigers have to find food. But where are the prey? They're coming into the plantations. If majority of you are wrong, I'll start shooting you. I'll roll a dice, and if it's above four, four and above, you get one shot. If you get two shots, you die. And if all of you are correct, the tiger has two actions. Happy? We have more choices now, okay? But we don't want you to die. The last time I played this game, the tiger died, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, let's see what we've got. Two shots and you're dead. An overview. The Singaporean tiger, the good, the bad, the ugly. And what can we learn for the goddess perspective and how we manage our tiger in today's world? The good. Later, it's known as said that we learn from history books that people died from tigers and tigers from retaliatory killing. People were killed, plantation, owner, uh, plantation workers were going out to work and most of the time the tiger would come and opportunistically take one of their friends. As a response, all the other plantation workers would run away screaming and they would come back with their guns and chase after the tiger. Very often than not, the body of the dead person is not there to be found because the tiger took it. And and it also information, okay? So people recording things. Um, uh, Wallace said when he came to visit uh, Singapore that it was one of the most dangerous place to be killed by tigers. So this study was born from a source of data. Where do you think it came from? Was it archived newspaper reports? Death reports, barrel reports, or reports that were documented on my film. Single choice or multiple choice? Multiple choice. Single choice, yeah. One of them is right. <coughs> and five. Actually, I would say the clue, the clue is in the slides itself. This clue is in the slide itself. So five, four, three, two, one. Time's up. So we have all A and one, two, three Ds. The answer is A. Archive newspaper records. We saw the newspaper heading at the beginning. Okay, Michael. So this is more like when people write their notes or diaries and then we preserve them on microfilm. So indeed, the answer is archive newspaper records. So I'm going to move you nearest to the villages because you need to feed on the prey that is all towards the villages. <coughs> Indeed, we took the newspaper records from the archive 
archive national library, so it's freely available online. And we search through all the newspaper records for 100 years. 1831, the first newspaper report on a tiger, okay, till 1930, where the last tiger was killed in Park Chuka. So here you see another tiger was killed in the jungle brought in on Thursday last. The, the phrase is a bit weird. It means last Thursday, okay? Um, that was very archaic or old English. More tigers, we get to learn that. So things escalated along the way, but we'll see the trend in a bit. So how many years did the tiger persist in Singapore since its first reported sighting? Was it 50 years, 75 years, 100 years, or 125 years? between B and C, right? Or is it D and C? Or is it D and C? D and C, is it? Okay, so the answer, I did say earlier, 100 years. 1831 to 1930. So that's exactly 100 years, so... Okay, I'll give you a chance, okay? <laughs> Great. So it persisted for 100 years, and this is the trend. It started off initially quite high. This is based on number of tigers caught, number of human deaths, and number of sightings. And we map it in five years interval across 20 data points. And you can see that here we have a high numbers, and then it slowly became lower and lower. At the same time, throughout these years, um, Tomasic, as we once call it, was undergoing massive deforestation encroachment into the habitats. You can see forest clearing and the roads were being built and we move on into a highly um, deforested uh, Singapore in, uh, in 1910 and experienced 99.2 forest loss from pre-1831 to 1910. That's how massive it is. So I want you to think about the predicted sequence of events that led eventually to the extinction of the tiger. Was it encroachment, encroachment's habitat loss in, and then encroachment into the tiger's habitat? Retaliatory killing. <coughs> then we have rewards from the government. The government was actually paying people to kill the tigers. The sales of the tiger for money. Migrants, Chinese migrants, they sell it for traditional Chinese medicine as well as the English to help um, the sport. So, what do you think the sequence of events were that led eventually to the local extinction? Take a shot at the tiger. 
tip of the block and this is above four and above then okay <laughs> yes let's reveal what it is it's one that's not too bad you are not short at the moment so in total we had 156 tiger sightings 210 um, attacks on people people died based on uh, these attacks and 114 tiger captures these are severe underestimates they are based on newspaper re reports however when a plantation owner experienced tiger killings in their plantation most of them did not own up or reported them why? because their reputation on the plantation will go down and no one wants to vote for them. So these are severe under-reporting. And we see a cascade of events from habitat loss, again to encroachment into their habitats, retaliatory killing, and rewards from the government. As such, um, people, the rewards decreased, the people were selling the tigers for more money, English even took them, took up hunting as a sport, and resulting in the extinction of the last tiger. So, the good, the bad, the ugly. What was so ugly about this case study is it that the media might have to with the killing. Humans couldn't stop the local extinction of the tiger. It is ironic who all the above. Asia Conference at NUS, 
I think it's great. It has moved a lot from what I previously know about Singapore since uh, seven years ago. And we name ourselves a garden city, which I find a little bit ironic as well, because a garden city full of plants that are not native, placed in a dome, in an artificial habitat. So when you think, think more about what actually is conservation for Singapore, lessons learned. This is a role play that uh, Carrie was part of. <laughs> <laughs> this was a murder mystery created based on the paper itself. We had plantation owners that was trying to hide the truth. We had plantation workers, one of their friends were killed. We had um, the sick grandma that needed the title on wine. We had uh, the government that was trying to pay people to go and kill the tigers. So this murder mystery was to find out who killed the tiger in the end, and students were very inspired to read the paper thereafter. Let's see what we have learned. There were multiple factors leading to the extinction cascade. We've seen that earlier. There was spatial overlaps, the prey population and plantation attracting the tigers, and the plantation workers were working in the plantation, and therefore there was overlap, and tigers were eating the people. Temporal overlap, <coughs> meaning that tigers were coming out during the early morning and the late night, and plantation owners were going into the field that time and coming back from work in the evening. So there was also a temporal overlap. And tigers were coming from somewhere else as well. For 100 years, we did not eliminate it. Where do you think it came from? Pulau Bin, shipped tigers into Malaysia for Malaysia. <coughs> and five, four, three, two, one. Thank you very much. Multiple D's and a couple of C's. The answer is D. Well done. It came from Johor Bahru. There were sightings of tiger swimming across the Johor streets into Singapore. So I'm going to move you here. You have an edit because that requires one move. So what can we see about the Singapore case study? Poor land use planning, the idea of plantations, clearing them but not giving a buffer zone for which the forest is exactly next to the plantation and the, the tiger and therefore coming in and the prey coming in at the same time, resulting in a lot of spatial overlap and temporal overlap. Present day example in Bangladesh, uh -huh, this is a place, Sutherlands, 1,300 people killed by tigers over 6.3 years. This is currently ongoing and as a result, they retaliate by killing tigers. And in detail, about a century ago, 100,000 tigers roam across 30 nations. Now, the distribution is drastically reduced to be 3,000 to 2014. Some of you might be aware of an increase in numbers, but that is slightly controversial. There are some researchers in Oxford itself that point out these numbers are an overestimation and highly inaccurate. So the crown range, okay, the, the previous range are the yellow parts and the crown range is only the red parts. So what does it mean? Well, we certainly <coughs> don't want to end up with no tigers at all. So I hope that we can learn something from this case study about the idea of plantation, spatial overlap, temporal overlap, and it's important um, to help us understand why the conflict exists in the first place and what are the multiple factors that eventually might lead to its extinction. So, thank you very much. Great, we didn't feed the tiger.